Lesson 4 Water Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity introduction course. On this lesson we are going to work with Unity Water 4. This is the most advanced water in the engine, and we are going to use it to create the water surrounding our island. Step 5 Water On the last video, we imported the Pro Water package. This package also includes the Water 4 prefabs. These are the most advanced water prefabs in the engine and we are going to use them to create water surrounding our island. You can find the Water 4 prefabs on the Water 4 folder, inside the Water Pro folder. As you can see, you have two different prefabs, a Water 4 example simple, and a Water 4 example advanced. The main difference between the two is that the advanced version includes an additional shore and foam texture. These textures are applied at the crests of waves and also where terrains and other objects interrupt the wave mesh, like the shore. Select the Water 4 example advanced and drag it onto your scene. Adjust the scale and the position of the game object. Note that when you add the prefab to your scene, Unity will automatically create a reflection scene game object. This game object allows you to change the water reflection in your scene. The camera component on the reflection game object allows the water for to reflect your scene. Now, if you select water for example game object, you will see that you have several properties that you can change. The first field on the water base component allows you to define a material to your water. You can also define the quality to low, medium or high. If the edge bled option is enabled, the water fall will blend the edges of the water mesh. This component also lets you define the textures for normal map and shore and foam. These textures are controlled by the parameters right under the textures. Here you can define, for example, how the normal map titled will scroll by changing the values of tiling and direction. On the normal section, you can define the displacement for free cell, specular, and reflection and refraction. You can set the vertex-based displacement, the pixel-based displacement, and the overall displacement value. The next section, free cell allows you to control the viewing angle effect upon reflections, specular, and opacity. The intensity parameter lets you define how the normal map affects the free cell. You can also set the power and bias of the free cell. Under the fading section, you control how the edges and shore fade, as well as the extinction fade. In this case, higher values will mean less fading. Finally, the last section of the water base component is foam. Here you can set the intensity and the cutoff of the foam. The next component is specular lighting. It allows you to adjust the specular power. You can use a reference to indicate any transform of a specular light source. This can be, for example, your directional light transform. Next you have the planar reflection component. It allows you to enable or disable real-time planar reflections. The reflections are calculated in relation to the height of the parent mesh that has this script attached to. You can also enable the reflections to include the sky box. Finally, you have the Gerstner displace component. You can use this component to adjust the settings for the wave generation. You can change several parameters, including the amplitude, the frequency, the steepness, the speed, and the direction scale.
If you press the play button, you can now see the water 4 in action. We encourage you to test different values in order to attain the waves and foam you desire. This concludes our lesson regarding water. On these videos we covered all default water types included in the engine, basic water, pro water, and water 4. Please, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.